So, okay, so we need to kill these spiders. We just, they just, they, they have to die. No, Kurt! Hey, you lads and ladies. I'm the Jawsome One. Welcome back to RimWorld. So before we begin, I just wanted to go over something really quick with you guys. I uh, went into the mods and I fixed the fluffy breakdown mod. Apparently, it was a really simple fix. Um, in fact, you know what? I'll just go into options real quick and show you exactly what I did because it's very, very simple. Just go to fluffy breakdowns, show settings, right here, maintenance threshold. So this just tells your colonists when they should be repairing buildings. Before, it was all the way up at 100%. They wouldn't repair it until it was at a... They were, so they were trying to repair it constantly, but it, it didn't need to be repaired because it was already at 100%. But because the threshold was at 100%, they were trying to repair it anyways. So it, it was basically just kind of like, I guess in a, in a way, kind of soft locking the game because they couldn't... Because you know, they weren't actually doing anything. So I dragged it all the way down to 50%. So now, if they start working on it and if for any reason they get interrupted, uh, they'll, they'll just stop working on it until it drops back to 50% again, repair it up to 100, so on and so forth. Also, uh, this was up to 200%. I'm, I'm gonna leave that at 100, I just... Yeah, that's just my own decision, I guess. So, we're ready, let's load. All right, we're back. And uh, you know what? This colony, I think, is doing a little bit too well. Like, nothing has been happening. Like, we're hardly getting raided or messed with at all. So I'm going to go to the Storyteller really quick. And we're going to change the difficulty up to Savage. Make things a little bit more interesting, because that's what you guys like, right? You guys like that chaos. And I like me some chaos too, that's just part of the fun of it for me, I'm kind of a sadist like that. If, if the game gets too rough again, or too... <laughs> if the game gets too rough, I'll take it back down to rough. Makes perfect sense, logic, right? The food? Oh no! What are we gonna do about that, Connus? What are we gonna do about that? Wow we guys, wow we. Alright, uh, so we have a very, very serious issue right now with components. I could go through the effort and try to, you know, like, dig up every single, like, rock and stuff on this map. But I think what I'm going to do instead is much, much simpler. I'm going to form a caravan. And I'm just going to simply use, I'm going to take advantage of the, uh, the camping site mod. I'm just simply going to go to the tile next to us, set up a camp there. And if there's, you know, if there's any, uh, any components there, I'll dig it up and then bring it all back. If not, uh, I'll move on to the next tile and, you know, progress so forth until we're able to finally find what we want. Don't talk about the why I named this place. We're not talking about that. We're not doing that. So, okay. I, I should have looked at everybody's uh, bio first. Uh, three is probably fine. And then items, we're just going to bring food. I don't really care about anything else. Well, I don't know how many days worth of food is it. One hundred? Uh, okay, so that's... Where is it saying? Days of food, what? Why do I have negative... Why do I have negative that many days worth of food? Oh, you know what? It's because they're skeletons and they don't really need food, but... I'll still... I'll still bring a hundred just because, like, a hundred is a pretty... I think that's a pretty good amount to bring, right? Now, hopefully the game won't ever freeze up or anything like that anymore, like it was doing before. Oh, we have- we having some idols. No, that stopped really quickly. So yeah, see, look- look at that issue we're having here. We're- we're struggling to maintain enough power. And it's really... It's just really weird. Uh... What bills do we have in here? Big bulk polenta? Uh, we can- we can leave this off for now. I kind of want this on just so we can cut up slag. And, uh, and turn that into useful ma turn that into useful steel for us to use. Actually, we can probably just go ahead and turn that off for now. We don't need steel really right now. So let's just turn that off. So Johnson and Julius, you all need more jobs to do. Beryl, Johnson, and Julius. So, all right, so Beryl, you were, uh, yeah, you're assigned to be allowed to do literally everything. So there's no reason that these guys don't have anything to do. So we just need to assign more jobs. We need to get more work done. Okay, that, that gives my guys something to do. 
Yeah, there we go. Now they have no reason to be, uh... Not working. Uh, Johnson, didn't I just send you on a mission? I don't know why you're starting a party. Oh, was it not Johnson? No oh, they're ready! Ah, uh, but I cannot set camp somewhere directly adjacent to my colony. Right, right, right. Come on. There you go. Let's set up camp, eh? Let's see what we get. And once again, if we don't see any components! Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of components. That's 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 gonna be enough for what we need for right now. Whoa, this this is a lot of components. Oh my goodness. I probably shouldn't mine up too much though, because things like components are pretty heavy. Oh, uh, what do you guys what's going on? Why is the game frozen? Is the game frozen? It it shouldn't be frozen right now. Also, I forgot to set my 30 minute timer. Yeah, I changed the timer to 30 minutes. But I, I didn't set it for this episode. I suppose now's as good as time as any, right? Oh thank goodness, it actually started. They're just sitting there. Oh, they're drafted. Oh, don't you even think about it. I'm gonna be watching these guys. What are you guys doing? Going for walks? Going for Oh, it's during your sleep hour. Well, I should probably, real quick, set up some sleeping spots for you guys then, huh? It's not the most comfortable, but that's okay. It's not really... point isn't to be comfortable. Right, just drop the berries on the floor where anything can get to them. That's that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no, everything is- everything I- everything I know is wrong. N is- oh, Y is to delete. Okay, it's so weird. You're so weird, RimWorld. It's the mods. I thought I set you to this. There. Mass is 0.6 kilograms each, and how many were we allowed to carry? It was like- it was quite a lot. We could actually carry quite a bit with what we have. Wanderer joins. Uh-oh. Are you a human? No, you're not! You're a crystal! Perfect! So, what are you good at, Zeta? What are you good at? Uh, you're amazing at crafting and not really that great at much else. But alright, let's set your priorities. Also, I'll set you to a foreign art, because why not? Yeah, alright. Beautiful Aurora. Awesome! So everybody's gonna get a mood buff, right? I need to look at the caravan group. Forum caravan, right? We can carry 105 kilograms. That's only a 12 kilogram difference right there. Only 12, only 12 kilograms. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We we can get all the components in this area. We are fine. Uh, somebody needs to be assigned to building here. I think that was my problem here. I didn't send a builder really. I swear I heard someone laugh just now in the background. Is somebody outside listening to me right now? Because that is creepy. Here. And someone knocked on the door. I am recording whoever you are. I think that was a girl too. That sounded like a girl's giggle. Maybe I should promote my channel. Just yawed. Hey, I'm the Johnson one. Just subscribe to me now. There is a college uh, right here where I live. So there's a lot of college students and... Uh, it's near the end of the year for them though, so... Bone wall. Oh, I need bones! I need bones for so many things, I want to take this apart and take it with us. Oh my goodness! What is going on with you guys? Huh? What are you so upset about? Hey... I was hoping- I knew this would reveal something. Shout is coming to get that wall. Yo, donkeys. Yo. Yo, donkey with artery blockage. Nice. It's my favorite kind of donkey. The music is completely gone, I just realized. Like, the sound is just off. There's no more sound. I can't even hear my boys chipping away no more. That's not right. What's causing that? This game is angry. Ooh. Meet Direwolf. Okay, these are for when I was loading that whole area. So it looks like they're wanting to load in like corpses of certain creatures for some reason and the game just didn't like that so it didn't let them load in and that's why the game was like freezing earlier it doesn't explain why the music is gone though all right let's do a quick uh let's do a quick save and reloading hey without a table story generated by tyne and sylvester 
Okay, hold on. I'm gonna stop recording and I'm just gonna reload the game. What's the timer at right now? Timer is at 16 minutes. So I'm gonna pause that. And then when we come back, I will have it all fixed up. So sound just suddenly came back. Turns out uh, when I got up, uh, and this happens quite a lot with my headset. My headset is Bluetooth capable, but I don't have a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth to USB adapter. So uh, everything, everything that I hear is through a cord and that cord isn't exactly super long. So whenever I, you know, get up, for example, sometimes I, I it tugs on the cord just a little bit connected to my PC and uh, it, it sort of comes to this in-between place where it's like connected but not fully connected. My computer doesn't know what to do. So that, that was what caused it. As soon as I plugged it back in, I got that little popped up that was like, oh, hey, you know, let's register this thing as being part of your, your computer. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to load back into the game now. So at least now we know what caused the weird music issue. Uh, as far as the, the lagging thing, uh, again, I don't know why that happened, but I think to fix that corpse issue, I have this I have this thing that lets me delete corpses that exist in the world. I think that's what happened. Just as time passes, I think the the game tries to sort of catch up, if that makes any sense. Like with the like whenever you load into a new zone, the world tries to sort of catch up with you. Um, like tries to make time pass. So it was trying to like load in the corpses that died previously, and then sort of accelerate their death or something like that. So I just need to use uh, Runtime GC here to to clean up, to clean up corpses and stuff like that. Now, all right, you guys' moods aren't doing so hot. Yeah, and of course, it's all the guys that are mining. Except for you, why are you in a bad mood? You just joined us. You're in minor pain. Oh, you have a bite scar, permanent bite scar on your leg. Uh-oh. Game didn't like something that happened. Oh, no. Oh, we have a colonist being attacked. So somebody is being attacked by a spider right now. Oh, there it is. It's trying to attack my buddy Kurt. Well, get it. Yeah, okay, everybody's after the spider. Thing is, I'm pretty sure the spider's better at melee than my boy here. Yeah, melee DPS is 7.06 versus my skeleton boys. Uh, only, where is his? <laughs> where is it? 1.97, oh, that's pathetic. You need to switch to your knife, I don't know why you haven't yet. Now how, how, now how good is it? Really, the same? Why do you keep switching to your bow? That's so weird to me. All right, but you need to be running, clearly. So you be ready out here with your bow. Oh no, you're the one with the incendiary launcher. I'm kind of glad I don't have you equipped with that. <laughs> so, okay, so we need to kill these spiders. We just, they just, they, they have to die. No, Kurt! Oh no. No, I need to fix that. I, he, I'm sorry. I can't just let Kurt die. Also, I forgot to start the timer too. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the second the game loads up, we need to just get Kurt the heck out of there. Maybe the spider won't immediately attack Kurt the second it loads in. The game is set to pause when it's loaded. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so there's Kurt and he's fine for right now. And there's Spiffy next to him. So, okay, so you boys need to get ready. You boys need to get ready. Where is the spider? There it is. And you know what? I don't even care. You can switch to your, uh, and then Shorta, Shouta, come on down over here. You guys try to head up and meet up with him. So, okay, so there's, there are the two spiders, right? Let's keep an eye. Up, oh, there he is. He's coming. He's coming. Be ready to defend. There we are. Nice. Get it. Oh yeah, he's on fire because he doesn't, so now he doesn't know what to do. Where's the other spider up to? Where is it? It's right here, right? I can't look at his hunger stats like I used to be able to. So now we have no idea what state that spider is in. Uh-oh. He's coming right for us! Now knives will do much better against the spider boy. Johnson failed to come Monday down. Oh. 
Oh, Mundy had a break. Oh, he had a break. He had a breakdown. He got upset. Spiffy needs treatment now. Yeah, but they're skeletons. They'll be fine. As long as they don't die. Got him. Okay, now we need to take care of that other spider. Hold on. Wait, I need to see the combat log. Okay, right? So here's the start. Shouta, wielding a short... Oh, no. Yeah. Shouta, wielding a short bow with skill, shot the giant spider in the head. Then, the giant spider was, court, was scorched. The fire burned the giant spider, scorching her abdomen. Kurt's short bow arrow perforated the giant spider's left anterior, ant anterior lateral eye. Shouta's short bow arrow hit the giant spider. An inferno burned the giant spider, scorching her shell. Kurt shot at the giant spider with the short bow, but did not damage him. Kurt hit the giant spider with a projectile. Projectile probably being the, uh, uh, wait, yeah. No, Spiffy's the one armed with that, so I guess the projectile must be the, the arrow. Kurt flailed while trying to smash the giant spider with his short bow's limb. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't know why they're using their bow. The giant spider stabbed Spiffy with her front leg, jabbing her sternum and torso and making her recoil from the agony. Shouta, wielding his short bow like an artist, injured the giant spider in the shell. Oh, Shouta! So Shouta just... No, 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 he shot him. Yeah, he shot him. Shouta was the one who was away. Spiffy smashed the giant spider with his short bow. Spiffy, wielding her short bow with flair, jabbed the giant spider in the shell. Giant spider smashed Biff Spiffy in the left shoulder, knocking her to the side. Then Shouta, wielding his short bow artistically, damaged the giant spider in the right anterior lateral eye. Then Kurt landed the final blow, crushing the giant spider's shell with mastery. Thus, the crack wound from Kurt's crushing caused the giant spider to die. Okay, so yeah, you go on to bed. Now, unfortunately, that spider stands right between you and bed. It's uh, right over there, so you two, come with him. We're just gonna guide him to his bed. <laughs> uh, where is it? Medical, you're a 9 and you are a 12. Why did I, how did I send such good doctors here? Okay, then you can... No, you need to stay close. Spiffy, what are you doing? Yeah, go rest. We have to. Uh, please don't fire that right there. Aim it here. Perfect. It's exactly the kind of shot that we needed. Alright. Uh, go put that out. Yeah, Shout is gonna head up- try to head up there and do some more mining. We're all out of predators in this map, I think, right? There is a cougar, but it's badly injured. Oh no, never mind. The, you made it look like it was so, like it was in such serious danger. A bite wound from an ostrich, huh? Interesting. Uh, what are the other wildlife around here like? Nothing else that's dangerous. What about over here at home? Yeah, of course nothing dangerous is out here. And it's milk. Yep, they do produce milk. We need these. We've struck compacted machinery, where? Oh, more. Major break risk on Shouta. Yeah, Shouta, you're not, Doing so good right now. You're in a lot of pain. You need to go rest. Perhaps I should turn uh, bed rest for you up to a two, because you were you were injured more than any of, any of us. All we need, all we need for you guys to do is just get home, is just finish this up, so we can go home. By the way, we're about. It's almost time for us to end the episode. So I think uh, before I do end it, before I do actually end it, I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait till we send these guys home, because like we're very very close to to being time for these guys to just going home oh yeah bones I forgot to look at how much you guys weigh uh, okay each individual piece of bone weighs yeah 0.25 okay same with the uh, it's the same as the as the C composite so I'll, I should probably take a look and see if uh, we'll be fine 
All right, let's see what all we can bring. So all the components. Oh yeah, that's a lot. See so composite. Okay, so no room for the bone. No room for more bone. We we do have just enough for that little bit of bone though. Uh, anything else? Now, let's carry the sleeping spots with us. <laughs> yeah, yep, I knew it. All right, all right. Oh, there's a lot more extra berries just lying around, huh? I don't have any problems with that. So we're going to be leaving with more food than what we brought in. So, all right. I'm going to tell these guys to come on home. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Love you guys. And have a good one. Bye-bye.